Hello guys. Uh, for uh, today's video is about Fourier transform, and I'll be dealing with Fourier transform of Poisson's equation. That is <coughs> and, uh, given here, and the relations are given here. So first, uh, the given Poisson equation. Okay, this is the uh, Laplacian of phi r is equal to rho r by epsilon naught negative rho r okay now this is the equation by the use of 3D Fourier transform method solve the Poisson equation in electrostatic potential fun function and this one is del square phi r minus sigma r my, sorry rho r open this problem where phi r is equal to 0 and r equal to plus minus infinity until phi r is equal to 0 okay, the range of r is up to plus minus infinity and the phi r is equal to 0 okay so uh, phi r is equal to 0 when r is plus minus infinity and until phi r del r is equal to 0 at that position Okay, now uh, let uh, phi r and z k and rho r and rho k are the Fourier transform transform pairs. Okay, so you know it. This is three D three D transformation. So z k vector is equal to one by two pi uh, three by two uh, phi r e to the power minus k rated r uh, dk bar so there you uh, like uh, for g you uh, you, you gk uh, you have the formula and likewise for phi r the inverse for your transform and similarly for rho k in terms of rho r so for your transform of rho r is rho k and inverse for your transformation of uh, rho k is now you have to know while solving this one you have to know is the four transform of the whole Laplacian okay Laplacian is del, del square phi r so the Fourier transform of the whole Laplacian is equal to 1 by 2 pi uh, 3 by 2 and uh, when you transform that you will get minus k square gk so this will be will be using in, in our result okay so now our, our given equation this is this one so all of these things that i've done that is for uh, using in further calculations or for the processes and now this one okay so i i took uh application and both sorry sorry uh, for your transform on both sides and i use that one i here and 1 by epsilon naught phi r upon e okay so i have to have taken epsilon naught uh, out of the integral sign and i found out one relation gk in terms of rho k and now phi r when i when i take the Fourier transform of phi r so we have already know i've already told that we i've already known that gk is the for uh, when we do inverse Fourier transformation, we'll get phi r out of j k. So now uh, we did that and we put the value of this one and j k from here, from here j k and uh, we put here. And after that, we have put, we put uh, sigma k. We have already found our equation, and so this since the um, r is a domain variable, so r is already here and so instead of that r i used r dashed now uh the f when you uh, do some calculations some some steps you'll get this type of thing and we, we let this type of thing th this one uh like a green function okay a kind of function and uh, finally our target is to we've already known some of the form here this is uh about our solution is about to be there to come and 
so for that we have to found g r vector minus r respective and for this we'll be using uh, spherical polar coordinates okay so for this uh, uh, we have taken r theta phi coordinate well mm, nearly r we have uh, k in place of r we have used k and theta is the polar angle okay so it's made the angle is with z axis and this is uh, phi phi is azimuthal angle and it is made uh, with x it is in made with x axis okay so now similarly so decay there is you can you know it this one we are about to find d q r so for that i need to be into a similar same like same like concept so dk k d phi k d phi sine sine theta if you don't know you can consult in books or somewhere so the range of the you know it, you should know the range range of theta is from 0 to 2 pi pi is from 0 to oh no no, no. theta is from 0 to pi okay so phi is from 0 to 2 pi and this one is k is from 0 to infinity so you know it radius this one k radius vector from 0 to infinity phi is uh, in this x y plane so it must be you know, for the complete angle would be uh, th uh, that means 2 pi and likewise this one for theta that is 0 to pi now to find this one well, we have integrated the given g r r dash vector uh, in r theta phi so while integrating uh, so uh, see here this is k this is uh, out of pi means theta and this is phi okay so the this one uh, we know okay e to the power i k so the, the is we have used it was dot product so to remove that we have used theta and sine theta d theta 0 to um, 2 pi uh, d phi and when we calculate d phi it will be 2 pi okay and remaining uh, d k inside it uh, it's uh, sine theta okay sine theta d theta means d cos theta, negative cos theta so negative cos theta so i've forgotten minus here so i've forgotten minus here so it should be minus here and now uh, when we substitute something or when you do something so we have to change the limit so changing the limit in terms of cos theta and it is negative sign so like e to the power i k x dx so i'm doing in like in same way okay so in place of x i'll be using that cos theta and in that range for that range you put the value of cos theta because because cos theta cos theta means minus one cos theta means one so don't get confused where to put this one and because we are doing integrate integration in terms of cos theta and after that one so uh, 2 pi 0 to infinity this you got this one and when you put the value after that uh, to convert it into form of a sine x so from the exponential I've done uh, 2 upon 2i and so this is uh, sine k r minus r dash okay and after we have already after we have done a scalar product uh, there was before that there was vector sign and i am not using vector sign here so the result is this one and then when you let k r minus r dash is equal to t and for the calculations you will get uh, the situation like this okay 4 pi r minus r dash this is magnitude okay this is not a vector so 0 to infinity sine t t dt so 4 pi r minus r vector and after that when you uh, calculate when you find the integration of this one zero to infinity of the sine t by t you will get pi by 2 okay and when you put this one and you will get the solution for phi
and this is the solution okay see here magnitude when and observe the place where the vector was vector turned we have done scalar product and vector that vector was in scalar form okay this much if there's any confusion you can write and comment thank you